Olympians. I'm the British High Commission in Abuja, and I'm here leading a team from the British High Commission to observe the elections that are taking place in the nation state tomorrow. Uh, the British government doesn't support any political party or candidate. Our interest in coming to Ocean is to observe the process and to support democracy in Nigeria. And so the meeting that we've just had with the resident elections commissioner here is a really important part of that, to hear how the preparations are going for the elections and to, to, to talk to them about the areas that we'll visit tomorrow and understand how developments for the day are going. So basically from what you've observed, aside what you've been told, mm -hmm. from what you've observed around the town, around the state so far, what's... what's What's your take on how, what the level of preparation, what's your take on it? Well, I think the level of preparation seems very good. Uh, the resident elections commissioner was just telling us that over 74% of PVCs have been collected. And so that's over 1.2 million voters who are able to participate in the elections tomorrow. So that's obviously really important that people come out to vote. And so that's one of the things that we would say is that to the people of Ocean State, please come out, please use your vote, use it responsibly. Uh, we've got concerns based on what happened in the Akiti state election about vote buying, so we'd really urge citizens not to engage in that sort of process. Use your vote to hold your politicians to account and vote based on their campaign promises. And, and talking about vote buying, what level of uh, input is your organisation or your commission ready to assist in, in terms of orientating people and getting us out of that problem of vote buying and vote selling? Well, we, we give a lot of support to INEX centrally through the De Department for International Development and we support voter education through civil society groups and uh, we're here partly to talk to the media and to talk to voters through you and through other media sources to encourage them to participate fairly in the process. I'm afraid that we are going to have to go to our next meeting now though, but so sorry that that was very brief, but thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for having us.